Okay, this is a very brief overview of the parasympathetic nervous system. Now, the parasympathetic nervous system is um, essentially involved with controlling systems that occur um, that are active during periods of relaxation in our body. So this is, you know, time to digest food, um, to feel emotions other than fear um, and anger. Um, it controls the bowel and, bowel and bladder. Now, interestingly enough, the parasympathetic nerves are um, both have um, motor nerves that send information out and sensory nerves that send information in. Okay, so just sort of keep that in mind. Now, what parts... Um, now, I know that usually we think of, when we think of the um, parasympathetic nervous system, we think about the vagus nerve, which is cranial nerve number 10, branches off from the, you know, near the brain stem, the medulla. Now, um, cranial nerve number 10 is very important because it is the way the parasympathetic nervous system um, communicates with the heart and the lungs and you know the the stomach and the and the bowel but there are other parts of the sympathetic nervous system as well there are other nerve branches that um, that carry information to and from the sympathetic nervous system notably um, nerves s1 through s3 um, innervate the bladder and the rectum um, and um, the external genitalia. Okay, the parasympathetic nervous system also is active in other cranial nerves. Let me make that brush size a little bit bigger. So cranial nerve number three and cranial uh, nerve number three is the oculomotor nerve and um, this c controls pupillary um, constriction and dilation and those, those who, who have given um, atropine know that uh, atropine is an anticholinergic medication and one of its side effects is to dilate the pupils um, and that's because of its effect on the oculomotor nerve now the other one of the other nerves that it affects is um, cranial nerve, actually I'm writing four, but I mean seven. And cranial nerve number seven is the facial nerve and what it affects here is it um, the facial nerve enervates the lacrimal gland so it causes tearing and it also enervates the nasal mucosa and it causes you know rhinitis or runny nose um, and let's see, the other nerve that's innervated is cranial nerve number nine. And cranial nerve number nine is the glossopharyngeal nerve, and this is innervating the parotid gland and the other salivary glands, and this is what controls salivation. So um, it, you know, the parasympathetic nerve is very active in other. Uh, cranial nerves as well. So just keep that in mind. It affects pupillary dilation, tearing, and runny nose, and salivation. Okay.